girl codename Chanel and I'm back, but clearly I'm back with some finesse chit chat. Okay, new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning to subscribe, and then you know it's all love. And it's just period point blank. We know it's all love. We love to see it. This so this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the 411, okay? The real tea on how I attract chicky daddies, how I attract men who spend money on me, and um and why. Like, I just wanna dive right into this video. I feel like one of the things that sets me apart and keeps me um consistent on attracting men who spend money and sugar daddies is I'm not ashamed to let someone know that I am here for the cash, okay? I'm not ashamed to let someone know like my standards and let them know like what I'm here for, what I can and cannot do, what I will and will not do. Setting my standards at the beginning and not trying to later on say like, oh my God, guess what? I like money. Like, I think that that has benefited me a lot in just being straightforward with people. I feel like a lot of girls who get into the sugaring game or finesse game kind of lack that. And it takes confidence to just tell somebody right off the bat, like, here, this is what I'm here for, you know? And I feel like on sugar daddy sites, they would, they should know, like, hey, you're here on this site that is for sugar babies and making arrangements. But sometimes they don't know because women girls let them get away with a whole lot so i let them know hey like i'm not one of those girls another thing it is is like i'm not embarrassed to be seen with like an older guy i know that a lot of even just imagine older guys are even nervous going out with younger women it's just crazy but in this in this time it's still crazy like but seeing an older white guy with a younger black girl and then you get stared like that but i have honestly truly never really cared <laughs> I've, I've, I've maybe every like it it has to be like a certain situation that I would care but most of the time I do not care I'm super confident when I go out with sugar daddies I am I wouldn't say I'm touchy-feely but I am I am one of those people that I feel like my gift is making other people comfortable and I'm really good at that I don't try to pretend that I'm not with the guy when I go on the date especially the first date I don't try to pretend like I don't try to be on my phone acting like I'm busy. I give someone my full attention and I'm not embarrassed to be out with an older guy. Like I've just never really been like that. You know, um, I've always been the type, I do not particularly do dinner dates unless we already have an arrangement. So the most time that I, most of the time when I go out, it's broad daylight with, with the sugar daddy. It's broad daylight and people see what's going on and I could care less. Um, and I learned that over time, like, you look, you're not paying my bills, so I don't care. And I think that that make that I think that's super attractive to them that you don't feel embarrassed with them. You actually feel confident with them. And it makes it more, it makes it seem like you're more genuine. Like, hey, this girl is not, they can read into the fear. They can read into the fear that you don't want to be seen with them. They can see you looking down at your phone all the time, looking nervous. Okay, be confident. Be confident in your finesse. Be confident on that date. Like, yes, I'm with this old man, Anne. And I, and till, till in this day and time, Code M. Chanel, when I go on dates with older guys, oh, I get, I still get recorded. Like, I'm just waiting for one of my subscribers to DM me on Instagram and send me a Twitter link. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just know I wasn't there for free. Just know I charged the fee and just know that I ate and it was good. Um, and I think another thing that, that I naturally attract spenders and sugar daddies and arrangements is that I do not, I, I'm not negative about it. I don't think negativity into the situations. I do not think like, oh, I'm dreading going on this date with this guy or, oh, like, I don't want to talk to him or, oh, I don't want to be here. Like, no, I want to be there and I'm happy to be there because this is something I actually want to do. And there was a comment left a long time ago in my video that really stuck in my head that a lot of girls aren't meant, a lot of women aren't meant for the finesse game and the sugar bowl because you don't want to be there. And there's women like me and other women that want to be here, that we're glad to be here. And another thing too that I feel like really sets me apart is I'm able to show that I'm attracted to someone without physical touch. I like to compliment them a lot. I like to give out examples. I love to give out examples. I love to sell sell a story. I love to tell a story. That's why I love doing story times. But um, 
as I got older, I asked that attraction has nothing to do with it. I'm actually attracted to someone's personality, attracted to providers, attracted to someone who can do for me. You know what I'm saying? Because looks does nothing for me, okay? The only thing, only person that should be looking good in a relationship is me. If you're in a relationship or you're in, if you're dating right now and someone's like, you're a good looking couple, babe, you're in the wrong relationship. You should be the better looking one. No one should be thinking that the person that you're with is attractive. Like, examples examples we can we can use we can use b and j all day okay um she knew beyonce knew. you know you're looking for someone to spend money on you're looking for generous men and you're turning down guys based off their looks and you're repulsed by their looks you're repulsed by their looks and you care a lot about looks like if you are a shallow person and you're vain and you only care about looks like the sugar game is not for you because you'll be lucky to look up with an attractive sugar daddy, okay? And I'm attracted to money, so all of them look good to me. But I understand that that's not the same for everyone. And if you don't have the stomach for that, there's no way to hide that. You ladies want the secret. You want the tea. You want the juice. You, you want to know how to get, keep, and have a sugar daddy spending money on you. You want to know how to get and keep a man spending money on you it has to start with inner work they can see right that you really are not here for them they can see that you're really here just for the money which is fine but the fact that now you're repulsed by it now you are you turn away like this little look or you look you're always looking around what are you looking around for babe focus eyes on the prize eyes on the prize another thing too speaking it into existence is so freaking important I deserve this you know i never question why i deserve things and no i don't want instant gratification but i want gratification and it, it has to be it, it doesn't have to be instant but i i can't wait forever babe <laughs> time's a ticking i think that those are important tips for me and how i attract um men who spend money um i feel like with a positive attitude you're gonna attract somebody that spends money on you. Um, everything that I do for me, looks wise, or whatever, I look at as an investment um, in my future and business. Invested in business. So we invest in our beauty, we take that money, invest it in some businesses, okay? Invest it in some ventures on the side, okay? Because it doesn't last forever and it fades, and we know that. Um, so attracting spenders only can last so long, okay? If you're in your prime, now is the time i hate when i rhyme all the time but all the advice i have if you need more advice on this topic definitely go to my patreon that's where i give away exclusive exclusive finesse tips starting at five dollars yes it's a steal it's a steal it's highway robbery i won't call the police now don't forget to comment give this video a thumbs up hit the notification bell below because if I make a video, you need to be the first to be informed, okay? And that's one period. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, codename Chanel, and my Snapchat, Chanel Kid Herb. And you guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It means the world to me, and I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.